Okay, here we are um, with our bridge. So the very first thing we're gonna do to get started is we've got to create a custom material. Balsa wood isn't a default material, so we'll have to make it. So here's how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna click on my navigation tree. I'll click the little triangle here, little arrow that points at bodies, and I'm gonna expand them all. I'm gonna click on the first one. I'm gonna hold shift. I'm gonna click all the way down on 16. Um, which is how many bodies this one actually has as we created it. So I'm going to right click. When I right click, some or a little pop up menu is going to come. I want physical material. Okay. And what's going to happen is it pops up down here. And I want to select wood. Now I've created. Um, several different or in several different times I've created boss of wood, so this one might actually still be in here. Let me check and see. No. Nope. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to click on just cherry, and I'm going to pull it up here into the, uh, in this design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to duplicate. And when I dupe it, um, I'm going to take a look at the new one, which will have a new name. It'll be cherry one. You can pick any wood you want. I, I just chose this one because it's at the top of the list, literally. Um, I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to change its name to, say, Balsa. Right? And then I'm going to change its density. But I'm not going to change its density here because this isn't in units that I recognize. So the unit I need it to be in is in grams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Advanced. And this is going to take a second to pop up. When it does, I'm going to come over here to physical, okay, and I'm going to go down, and the only one I'm really worried about on this, uh, or this time, is I'm going to change this density to be 0 0.178. You can look up the density of balsa wood. It varies anywhere from 1 or 0 0.160 grams per centimeter cube to 0.178. I'm going to choose the highest one on file because that's going to give me a little fudge factor with um, when I apply my glue, things like that. So that'll just help us out. Okay, so now that's in there. And I've just got to click somewhere off in here. That That's going to put that there. Let me pull this up so I can get to the... I'm going to click OK. Or I'll click Apply. I'll have to click Cancel, which is a weird way that they do it. Now I'm going to have to apply this. So when I selected them all, um, it undid them. So I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to select all of them again and see if it'll let me apply it to them all this way. And it sure did. So now I've applied that balsa wood density to my entire um, design. And you can see it changed the appearance. That's one of the ways that I know that it, it applied it. So it looks a little weird. It looks nothing like balsa wood in real life, but it does kind of have a wood texture to it. And if I go in, I can now select all of those again. And when I right click, I'm going to wait for that same pop up to come up. It's going to do it. Oh, oh, I forgot to close that. So we've done that. Let's we close that one. Let's go back in, select them all, right click. And what I want to go to is properties. When I click on properties, something will pop up. It's mass. Okay. But it's giving me mass in the wrong units. It's telling me mass in ounces. And I don't need that. I need to know what it is in grams. Well, the reason it's doing that is it's doing exactly what you told it to do. It just you just don't realize that yet. So what we want to do is we want to come back up here to our document settings. And we designed in inches because our material is in inches, but our requirement is actually in metric. So we need to come back in here, change inches to millimeters. It won't affect our design at all. It doesn't change anything about our bridge except how the units would be displayed. And now I can come back down to bodies, right click, do properties, it tells me that my mass is in is 22.622 grams. Our maximum allowable mass for our
project is 30 grams, so this bridge would pass spec. Now, I will tell you that I would not copy this design if I were you. One, I did it, so when I review them, it will be easy to spot. But two, this is actually not a very good bridge design. I'm not going to go into why, but um, if you've done a little bit of research on your bridges already, you might have started to identify some of the some of the problems with it. The trusses might be in the wrong orientation. You have actually several zero force members in this, and that should be something that you've run across already. But now I know exactly how much my bridge it will weigh, and um, it's under spec. So you can do the same thing with your designs, and yeah, good luck to you.